Hello, Gemini. I'm just shuffling the cards. I can't shuffle these cards because the traditional way because they're too long for my fingers. What cards might you buy? Be asking oh it is my brand new starman tarot deck based on the artworks created for david bowie we absolutely love he was supposed to be ex-husband number Ooh, this one's damaged what the fuck i didn't do that i haven't had him long enough to do that my king of cups is like trashed that makes me sad um Someone, instead of being in tune with what's around them, is too focused on being into themselves, I reckon. Somewhere, Gemini. But anyway, yeah, like, this is my new deck. The images are pretty cool, man. You'll see. I'm also going to be clarifying with the Shadowscape deck today. And remember, this is going to be for mid-January to the beginning of February. Until I get the February ones out, which I will before January is over. I should have enough time to do it like that, I think. I should! Doesn't mean I'm right, though. So we'll just have to wait and see. No whammies. Okay, let's begin with this first row. Three of Wands. The Hierophant Reversed. The Sacred Clown or the Fool. In the Fears. Seven of Swords. Ooh, someone's carrying around some... Treachery behind them, I see. Queen of Swords reversed. The Emperor, or no, the Empress is the catalyst. And the finale. And the final card is Nine of Cups. Getting wishes granted to you and living the luxurious life. Getting that bourgeois going. Right? Right. You like this incense root pick. There we go. Alright. Now over to Shadow Ski. Ah, this one smokes so much. It's different. I'm not sure if I like it yet. Like, it's supposed to be, like, opium, but it's a weird kind of opium because it doesn't smell as opium-like, right? Okay, so... Anyway. Yeah, someone's getting wish fulfillment here. Someone's getting exactly what they want. And living it up with tea. Just embracing it. Like, they are happy. They got a pet lizard, a pet iguana. Just be like, fuck yeah, I got an iguana, man. This is awesome. First card for the Three of Wands. Someone in here is kind of sitting here waiting, investing. Seeing what might come up in the future. Keeping a guard out for things maybe coming, possibly, amidst all of this stuff. Ah, yeah, double energy. Someone's definitely waiting on waiting. Someone is invested in looking over where either they can go or what's coming to them. Huh. That's some heavy energy. Someone is definitely looking for some investment somewhere. Somewhere out there, just looking amidst all this wilderness, all of this township and shit, in like the wood, in like the forest and the cities. Like they're looking, they're searching for something. They're hoping it'll either come to them if they keep an eye out, or if they have to go out to it in order to get it. There is definitely a lot of like pulling for that. Then we got like the Seven of Swords in the situation, where like someone is dragging around like. Possibly guilty conscience about some bad shit they did. All these cracks and stuff, right? Like, that might be stolen. At that. There's a lot in that tank. And they're just moving on. They're leaving two swords behind. Like, haha, I did it. But it's like, they're carrying this treachery around. They might apologize for it. Or, they feel like they have to leave behind a new beginning somewhere. Like, they're sneaking away. They're stealing away to get away scene of a crime, possibly with a new love beginning, or just with a relationship in itself. Or even their heart are trying to escape from. Then we got the Hierophant Traverse and what you want and wish when to go against the grain, against the order, to 
knock this dude on his ass and be like, no, we're going to do things my way for once. There is always a different way. The last... Some more cards, too. First card we got, four of wands. Someone definitely wants to change the order of the home. Someone might be, like another YouTuber told me that this could rep, that the Four of Wands, well they didn't tell me specifically, but they said in their reading that the Four of Wands could be, uh, how do you say, I don't like the smell of that, I'm putting that away, that it is, um, like open door. Someone wants an open door possibly to change things, to change how the home is run, how the harmony vibes with everybody. They want to change how things are for the better. Maybe they see a different way. Could be a family unit at that. Something maybe to make something a lot more better or beautiful. But down here below is a Queen of Swords below, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Who looks like she is so She looks like that one thing from like System Shock 2. That computer chick. I can't remember her name. Just being like, oh, hello, welcome to the environment. Now you die. At least you better hope you die. Nice stuff. You know, just ready to, like, go after whatever. There's a lot of tension with her in her face. Like, there is no emotion there whatsoever. She might even be super critical. Like, this book looks like it has holes bored into it from where her eyeballs have been in order to gain information, knowledge. That bird up here is, like, really, like, ugh, right? She might be indecisive and not know what to do and be very, very hostile and super critical because someone might have gone out and done something wrong, got in a third party, put someone in a third party. Um, wants to overindulge. It's going out of their way to... Um, I don't like this one. Like someone just decided to do too much. Like my little one over here. There we go. That one smells better. Okay. But yeah, maybe somebody wants to, um. Like, oh, there's someone with a third party with someone, or involves someone in a third party, Gemini. You could be dealing with that, or you brought somebody into that. Or someone needs to chill with the party, and you're not. How old are, do you have to be before it starts getting weird? Like 27, 28? You're not, you're not young anymore. You need to settle down. Maybe you don't want to settle down. I don't know many Geminis who do. You guys are like the wanderers of the universe, really. Um, that, I almost feel like, you know, like, hey, your indecisiveness about all of this, this um, hypercritical thing about this situation in itself, not knowing what to do about it, is like coming against... What you're wanting up here, which is to change how things are in order for everything to be harmonious. Like, maybe you're dealing with somebody who cheated, and you just want them to change so everything works out, and it's like, ugh. And here we have, like, the Fool or the Sacred Crow, um, zapping what surrounds him and is casting a white glow everywhere he goes. Right? He's got, like, antennas, right? might be going out to cast your own energy and you're protecting that energy right and there might be a fear of that when it comes to a new offer you're afraid of starting something new even with a new offer that's supposed to be your fears and rejections very very odd then we have the high priestess as the catalyst and the finale in all of this. Let's see what this says. Oop. Huh, the Empress Reverse. This motherly figure is just beside herself. <laughs> like, there's a lot of, like... Okay, like, this is fine. This is not, right, Gemini? It's like you're not being good to yourself. I feel like. Like you're casting a shadow on yourself. And not taking care of yourself. 
interfering, new, leaping to new offers, I feel like. Because you're so almost against what's best for you. Like, you're not nurturing yourself, even though a new start would be what's best for you. Like, you can't do it. Ending theme, Seven of Pentacles, reversed, which I like to say is enabling behaviors, right? Hmm. Using, like, like, the flourishing of what you created didn't turn out what it was. Or, like, you're reaping what you sowed, and it's, like, a negative. But you're still getting what you wished for. You're still getting what you wanted. You're still living in that lap of luxury. <laughs> so it's just like, uh... Alright. I feel like someone's hiding the fact that they want a new beginning over here. Yeah, and, the, and their wish still isn't coming true on this side. Like, this is not happening. Like, I feel like some of you really want to just be like, adventure out and leave. But you can't, and it's, that's what you really want. And you're stuck in the situation where you're like, you know... Your dream is becoming more of a nightmare. Like, are you lying to yourself in order to tell yourself you're getting everything you need? Is that what's happening here? Is that what this is telling me? This whole thing is about? Because I almost feel like that. It's not good for you. Uh, Ten of Wands, an exceptionally harsh burden with this indecisiveness about possibly a third party or overindulgences or someone just being too much <laughs> and like wanting to change things so it'll go better like I really feel like someone is indecisive about what to do with this and you just want things to change so everything works out just fine and it's become like this burden that's hard to bear Which I feel like is going to end soon, regardless. It's just taking its time. It's really, really stalling itself. But it's still going to end. It's just a matter of um, how that ending is going to come and when it's going to happen. Which I don't know. I'm just here. <laughs> then we get the Empress not being good to herself. And a fear of taking off to start something new. Complete indecisiveness with the hangman reverse. Like, you're not hanging upside down, you're hogtied. And you've been made to believe you were upside down and can't get down. When in reality, you're right side up. And you're just suckling off something that you don't need to be anymore. Like, you could easily just untie, untie yourself and walk away. Would you rather just keep sucking the tit of this tree, I guess? I don't know what actually that is. I guess it's a honeysuckle or he's making out with a fairy. I don't know. But it's attached to the tree somehow. It is just kind of like, dude, like, hmm. And the tree's extending up from here, so it's just like, that. it's just... It's just Like, if this were the top, this were the bottom. Like, yeah, you're sucking all the energy out of this tree to get up here. And this isn't doing it for you anymore. And now you're just keeping away from it. When in reality, you shouldn't even be doing that. Like, you shouldn't be focusing on what you could have. You need to be focusing more on yourself. That's the advice I'll give. But that is your reading, Gemini. And I will see you guys next time. Laters. Bye-bye.